Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. Yeah, so I want to ask you about what the word psychic really means. Okay, so technically, if I try to explain, it's basically uh, tapping into a sixth sense or base or getting information that goes beyond your five senses, the five physical senses. So now, since you mentioned that, yeah, there are psychics who you know who are in the society, but they don't uh, want to come out as psychics. Let me spill some beans here. Every human being is a psychic. It's a dormant ability. No. so it's like um okay if i have to go to explain here little technical so that you know it's easily understood by the masses we all have a physical body right every human being has a physical body and every human being also has subtle bodies right so it's not this is what's seen the subtle bodies are not seen yeah. like I, i i think according to uh, indian scriptures it's uh, sthul sharir karan sharir Yeah. and uh, suk sukshma sharir yes. it basically means three layers of body yes the etheric body the mental yeah. body the yeah. emotional body so we yeah. have many subtle bodies right hmm. so how we have the physical body and the physical senses the five senses are very visible the eyes ears nose and you know they are visible but running parallel to these five senses are the subtle senses which are not as visible but they are in the subtle body and to be more specific are governed by the chakras Okay. So if we say the physical vision or the eyes the psychic sense that's running parallel to it is clairvoyance. So every human being has two types of visions physical vision and a psychic vision which we know as clairvoyance. So it's see it's like our physical vision is uh limited. You know it can tap into certain spectrums. But when I talk about clairvoyance it has no limit. Okay, hold on. I gotta pause this for a minute. Break it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, you gotta explain the word chakras to people who don't understand okay. that. Okay. That's one. Hmm. Uh, secondly, the thing you said about our human eyes only capable of seeing certain Spectrums. amount of the light spectrum. Yeah. This is science. Yeah. You can only see vibgyor, the colors Correct. of the rainbow. Correct. So certain spectrums are which are caught by the human eye, but there are many more spectrums which humans can't tune to. but sometimes you know there are animals tuning to different yeah. uh, frequencies which humans can't see it's effectively like animals being able to see colors that humans can't see exactly so same way just because human can't see certain things doesn't mean it doesn't exist so the clairvoyants who are using their psychic vision are basically tapping into these frequencies which normally a human won't be able to tap into hmm. okay so which includes seeing spirits ghosts or even getting premonitions or things like that same way with every uh, i would say physical sense there is a parallel psychic sense running like hearing what runs parallel to it is clear audience so there are people who can hear wavelengths which a normal ear can't catch same way there are many more psychic abilities connected again to the physical senses and even beyond okay. like there is clear sentience which allows a person to sense things which normally a human may not be able to and empaths you know the empaths who can sense the feelings of others or you know they uh, can they can even absorb the feeling of others like their own so they are clear sentients uh the reason i want to keep having conversations like this on my podcast is honestly because uh, i've had experiences in my own life i've once dated someone mm -hmm. uh, where i was in a very nice healthy relationship with that person and only 2 3 months into dating she told me that she's also an empath and mm. she didn't say it openly but i feel like she had some kind of psychic abilities also yeah so i was telling her about uh, my relationship with my father and mm. how it's been a little strained growing up and how we're trying to make peace with each other at this point mm. uh, and then she just held my hand really tightly squeezed it and then she started crying mm. and i'm like what is happening here mm. got really scared uh, and then she held my hand and she's like your father is in a lot of pain for xyz reason and he's in this place and i'm hmm. not going to say that xyz reason mm -hmm. publicly so he's in a lot of pain something going on i got really scared okay and uh, i started chanting hanuman chalisa in my head about what's going on here i immediately called my mum and i asked her that is he in this particular place and is something wrong 
and she's like yeah he's had an injury or something like wow i i was just like okay what is happening here and that's why i realized empaths are real yes a uh, lots of people have psychic abilities that you don't yes. know of yes and there's another one more major one important one and why i want to mention this is because i remember in sarbajit's podcast you mentioned about uh, you getting downloads of information and questions that you were asking that's known as clear cognizance where you get downloads it's like you don't know where the information is coming from but it's coming to you and that could so, be creativity or just anything, answers anything any information that you have not been exposed to with your five physical senses basically okay so um every human being has the physical body and every human being has subtle body so by default every human being being has psychic abilities but what happens is you know and yes every child has enhanced psychic abilities every single child so if a child is telling that you know i have uh, imaginary friends they probably have one <laughs> okay. okay you know the reason i'm interrupting you so much in this intro conversation is because i think you're talking at a slightly high level okay. as compared to what the audiences are used to okay. uh which is why i'll keep stopping yeah. you and i'm okay. going to i'm going to ask you about chakras again what Haan. are chakras so these are the energy centers and you know so it's like our body is filled with chakras there is and we are energy beings right but there are seven main chakras which are the main energy centers of our body so these are the one ones that govern our physical mental emotional so these are like the main points to like you know in very simple terms so now since i'm mentioning about the psychic abilities they are directly governed again by the chakras and as i said everybody is a psychic okay let me give a small example here maybe that it becomes easier to understand suppose there's a small child and as i said that every child has enhanced psychic abilities okay now the chakras are fully active and the child is sensing things seeing things but they never mention about it because for them it's normal mm. it's like you won't go te- and tell somebody hey you know what the sun rose from the east today you just know and you don't want to go out of the way discussing about it so for children it's just they just feel that yeah everybody can so they don't go out of the way talking about it unless something unusual happens which had happened with me i'll come to that later so um what happens is that let's take an example that suppose there is this child who has all these enhanced abilities and now the child is growing and is exposed to some kind of environment where this child is getting judged and this child is hearing things like you are such a useless person and you know you are not good enough and you can't do this much and you are just good for nothing now what's happening that's literally attacking the self worth of the child and the chakra that governs self worth is the solar plexus that's right in the stomach so what's happening because of the words that this child is constantly exposed to the chakra is getting blocked now another example this child grows a little and uh, somewhere in the teenage now this child is very creative wants to probably get into art and music and he's a genius in that are you talking about me <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. go on <laughs> <laughs> and uh, suppose you know uh, that this child is being forced to maybe take up engineering <laughs> like, sorry go on <laughs> Okay so what's happening is the wings of this child are being cut and the natural flow of this child's energy is being taken to another direction now the chakra that governs creativity is the sacral chakra so what happens this child is forced to go into a direction that it doesn't he doesn't belong to so that's blocking his sacral chakra so as the child grows because of the various experiences and everything that you know he comes along the chakras begin to get blocked and eventually the subtle body is getting affected so as the child is growing the psychic abilities are already tuning down okay uh, i'm going to give a bit of tiny perspective here on chakras there was hmm. actually a fantastic anime called avatar the last airbender one of the episodes was about chakras but they've explained chakras for children in a very simple way i have seen that it's yeah. beautiful you have something called your cerebrospinal axis which is like yes. the central part of your body there are important points along the central part of your body yes uh beginning with your reproductive organs your intestines your stomach your heart yes your thyroid gland in your throat your pineal gland in your third eye and they say that the seven chakras is above your head it's outside your body so how it goes is so the seven chakras are the root chakra that's at the bottom of the spine 
then the second is the sacral which is approximately 2 inches below your navel hmm. then the solar plexus that is approximately 2 inches above your navel the heart chakra the throat chakra the third eye and the crown yeah so the basic seven chakras so the day to day activities and you know the kind of environment this child was exposed to is now what's happening it's blocking its chakras the child's chakras yeah. so the psychic senses are automatically going down so as an adult the child doesn't even know that something like psychic abilities exist because it's already gone down and that's what is happening with majority of humans that you know they are just losing the connect with their actual inner self they are losing who they truly are and something that they are born with just tones down yeah i think that age 9 or 10 yes to about i would say 40 or 50 is actually a dark period in a human's life and it's the period of life where society kind of just breaks you down kills absolutely. your dreams absolutely uh puts shit inside your body puts intoxicants absolutely but you know the good news is that is reversible hmm. you can undo all of it now again the same child suppose this child thinks that okay i'm done with this mess i need to find my true self i need to get aligned to my best version begins to meditate begins a spiritual journey begins to heal his inner child Does ayahuasca? So I said, no. <laughs> go on, go on. So he is undoing all the things that he was exposed to. What happens? His chakras begin begin to get unblocked. Mm. I'm sure you would have seen a difference between uh, you, like you know, before you started meditating and after you started meditating, right? So that's how it goes. So everything starts getting unblocked, and he starts getting tuned, and the psychic senses start getting aligned again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the very modern urban guy version of this from me was that I let go of a lot of pain in those meditations. Yes. Especially the early meditation. Lots very, of tears. Very important because see, unless you let go of your pain and unless you let go of you know the things that you're holding on to within you, your chakras are going to stay blocked. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's the artist clips. Mm -hmm.